and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you're just in time for a quick-ish look at Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, first things first, yes, it's apparently pronounced Arceus and not Arceus. Not, yeah, I'm not sure if that was ever confusing for some people, but, but as someone who is a, let's, let's face it, casual Pokemon fan at best, yeah, I I was confused on which which it was. Um, second, as a per, as a somewhat fan of Pokemon that hasn't really played a Pokemon game since Diamond and Pearl, uh, specifically the Pearl version of the game, um, this may be the best thing to ever happen to Pokemon ever. Um, so. I make it no secret, I'm not a big fan of the Pokemon games, as m not nearly as much as I used to be as a kid. Um, when I was a kid, uh, I loved Pokemon, at least for the first two games, the uh, red and blue. Uh, once they got into gold and silver, it kind of got hard for me to keep track of all the Pokemon. Um, Like, Heracross there, I think that was actually a Gen 2 Pokemon. <laughs> um, and it just kind of became too difficult for me to actually keep track of all the Pokemon. So, just, yeah. Uh, just know, we'll probably, I'll probably be showing a lot of Pokemon I have no clue who they are. Um, I got back into Pokemon with Diamond and Pearl when my friends got into it. Um, I specifically got the Pearl version because one, they had Diamond already, and two, I wanted the big, the big pink Godzilla looking creature over the diamond dog looking creature <laughs> so yeah um i don't know if that actually paid off or not but <laughs> we'll say it did we'll say it did because it, because it's funnier it's funnier that way um but even then even back then i was kind of getting a little bored of the of the formula and how slow the game itself actually is because if you played a pokemon game you understand one of the major problems with them especially nowadays they are really slow. Uh, whenever you get an item, uh, let's say like uh, keep seeing stuff around here. Let's say yeah, we'll go into this tree. Uh, first thing you'd have to do, you you yourself would have to go up to the tree and interact with it, and it would say, "Oh, you got an orange berry." You put the orange berry in your berry pocket, and it would happen every time. You picked up an iron chunk. You put the iron chunk in your whatever pocket that would be. I don't think they had iron chunk at that point. It'd be miscellaneous in that case. You know, stop the game for that. Battles were slow and tedious. Even if you had them on fast speeds, which me and my friends had them on, on fast speeds, it was super fast. It was like super slow. But as you can as you can already see from what little we've actually shown off, having fought that hair cross and everything, everything's like snappy, fast. It doesn't stop the game to tell you, hey. The thing going on, this or that happening, uh, and it's just—it's so much better than what than any other Pokemon game has been, at least any of the mainline Pokemon games. I can't speak for Pokemon Snap. I haven't—I I've played the original. I didn't I haven't played the new Pokemon Snap. Um, but yeah, right there you saw we just got some items there uh, to send our Pokemon out. We can send—we uh, can send our Pokemon out to grab that. I think mushrooms. Yeah. Or we could go up and grab it ourselves, but why do that when you can send your Pokemon out? Another feature that has been much needed in this game. You can actually catch the Pokemon without having to battle them. I believe every Pokemon in the game is capable of being caught without being forced into a battle. If you go about it correctly. So, for example, I have these smoke bombs I can place to give me some cover to hide in, so just press B to go in the cover mode, and right there it's, you can see the, I'm within range, I can lock on, load up my ball, release the button, and, oh, <laughs> that Pokemon turned around at just the right time, because you get a better chance of catching the Pokemon if you strike them from behind, which is what you saw that little smack attack in the back go. Um, right there, we'll do it again. It's so satisfying to see that happen. It's, yeah, but just like with Dragon the Pokemon, it's not a 100% guarantee, regardless of what Pokeball you're using, which 
if you're a fan of Pokemon, you know I'm using the technically the second best Pokeballs you can get, the Ultra Balls. Uh, Master Balls being the best, but I don't see you getting them in this game because if memory serves, the Master Ball was considered a new technology at the time of the first game, and this, as many of you probably already know, is a prequel to all of this, all these games prior. Developing, you're hoping to develop the first ever Pokedex, which in this case is just a big old book instead of a digital assistant. Because you're in the past. And just like with, oh, it's just like with all things Nintendo, whenever the past is involved, you came from the future somehow. How? I don't know. God made you do it. Except in this case, God might have actually done it because Arceus, as far Arceus to my knowledge, is God in the Pokemon universe. Who knew? <laughs> like I said, I haven't kept up with Pokemon in quite some time. Diamond and Pearl is my last mainstream game, and I cannot tell you. I, I I know Arceus was was introduced in that game, and I think he's supposed to be, or it's supposed to be the God Pokemon. Um. I mean, you also have Pokemon who literally control time and space. Palkia and Dialga, also from Diamond and Pearl. And then you have Pokemon that... Also, like, there's some question of whether Mew was supposed to be God? I don't think... I don't think that was ever in question. Let me try to catch a Rhydon. Uh, Rhydon? Rhydon or Rhyhorn? I forget. Rhyhorn is the evolution, isn't it? Oh no, right. Rhyhorn, okay, Rhyhorn's the first one. Rhydon is the evolution. Okay. Like, like I said, I can sort of remember most of the one, first 150 Pokemon. For some reason, I don't remember Rhydon or Rhyhorn. That's like the only one of the, one, the original 150 I don't immediately remember. But my friends swore up and down. No, Rhyhorn is a... Is an actual Pokemon in, in the original 150. And oh, right there, that Onyx saw me and it's gonna get aggressive, so I gotta get ready to fight it. Um, yeah, just so just so you guys know, I have an entire team of Eevee evolutions. <laughs> I when I saw how early you could catch an Eevee in this game, that was my first goal was to make entire evolution <laughs> team. Is it the smart thing to do? Heck no! Because there's only like eight different types of Eevees, Eevee evolutions, which I have all eight, by the way. Um, in fact, I got, we got a Leafeon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Flareon, Sylveon, which I named Neela. Uh, it, it was originally, so, those who don't know, which is a good chance, I have a friend who has actually been on the show a few times before, named Neela. She's one of my best friends. She's been, like I said, she's been on the show, and I was originally going to make her an Umbreon, as kind of like just be like hot, like as a bit of a. But long story short, in in Pokemon in Pokemon Pearl, I spent way too much time to get, trying to get a female Umbreon, specifically with, because of backstory, like fan fiction stuff that me and my friend, me and Neela had done. And so, um, I was going to make a female Umbreon, name it Neela, that's kind of like a tribute to that whole thing back then. Um, but as you can tell, I've only got the one female. And no, the ones in my, uh, pastures, as they're called, not boxes, the ones in the pastures in this game, um, they're all male as well. And I have uh, eight Eevees. <laughs> not, not, excuse me. Uh, nine Eevees I have. Um, and only one female. How in the world has the species gotten, how, how in the world has, has the Eevees survived this long without going extinct? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess, I guess the answer would be that the females got really, really busy with all the males. <laughs> I, I mean, Technically speaking, that would make, I mean, humans, as far as we know, humans are the only ones who have the, who have the weird con concept of mating only once, and that's it. 
I'm gonna try to catch her, catch this Felix. Um. So yeah, uh, real quick. You may notice that that Steelix had some big red eyes, and we're also in a time rift bubble thing. Oh, and never mind. I can't. I couldn't catch the Steelix because the time rift opened. So now, we're, so this is going to be a real fun part of the game here, because this is where we can get into three-way battles. Battles with three. Oh, and I can't catch her either of them. Battles with up to three. Pokemon of varying types and belong to varying regions. Oh, there's an Eevee. Um, that are quite a bit higher level than the area that you're currently in. Um, this is also the only place you can get like special items like the Charge, Lightning Cord, which is used to evolve uh, certain Pokemon. Excuse me, Linking Cord, not Lightning Cord. Um, it's how you can actually evolve. Pokemon that normally can only evolve through trading. Such as involving a Haunter into a Gengar, which I did. Or a Machoke into a Machamp, which I have not done yet. I'm gonna try to see. Oh. So, yeah, one thing you may notice here that's different from other Pokemon games we have not gotten into an actual battle with any of these Pokemon that we've seen yet. That is because. You have to initiate the battle yourself. There you go. That one I could catch if he wasn't aware. There you go, and we can actually force ourselves into battle. We got a back strike with our Pokeball, which means we actually get to deal some attack. We get to deal like uh, two or three attacks before the po before the other Pokemon can attack. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my strongest attack on. Dra uh, Drapion? Drapion? Yeah, so it's too stunned to move because we surprised it. And we get to attack it again. Oh, no, I guess we're far away enough that we didn't have to fight. There we go. There's the uh, other Eevee. Oh, and it vanished because. Of... So you're seeing him vanish and reappear like that because we're in some sort of time. I'm gonna fight this guy. I think I need to get this one. This is a. This is one of the fossil ones, isn't it? Kranidos. Yeah. Okay. So we haven't gotten into a three into a three fight, which is good. Uh, three on one fights are not fun to deal with in this game. Uh, just going out and saying it right now. Uh, you don't have double battles in this. You don't have tri triple battles. Just three Pokemon tag team your one Pokemon, which really really sucks. And that also sucks that I killed that Pokemon with a... <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, can I... Oh, what's over here? Dustclops. Okay. That one we can actually... Uh, lightning. Jol Jolteon should do. Or... Oh, wait, I can actually try to catch him. So yeah, if the Pokemon is aware of you and you try to catch, throw, throw a ball at them, it just bounces off. Uh, it looks like we didn't catch that whatever the evolved form of Magmar is. Uh, something's using poison on us. Oh, it's an artillery. Uh, uh, okay, so we get to see what double, doubling, double, double battles are like here. So we have two Pokemon against our one. Um, basically, you see in the action order, they get to go. So, yeah, they basically get to attack twice. Which is also kind of a little BS because sometimes the Pokemon will attack twice anyway. So sometimes Pokemon. That you're fighting will just attack twice. But also on the on the plus side, sometimes they'll just kind of get distracted and just like look around somewhere else. Um, and actually, we're gonna catch we're gonna actually catch the magma here. So during battle, there's two things we can do: we can either push up on the D-pad to access our items, 
and you know just heal our Pokemon up or use our Pokeballs there or hit X to switch over to our po Pokeballs and use the ZR button to toss one which honestly people talk about how great switching to the Pokeball and tossing to the ZR is uh, I didn't even know you could do that until literally a few hours ago when I was watching someone talk about it. And I was like, oh, that is something you can do, I guess. <laughs> um, it's honestly it's honestly kind of cool that you can, but as far as like just going between that or just switching the things your items, it doesn't really save as much time, which is why I haven't really noticed it as much. I'm going to finish off this Octillery because I've already gotten a lot of those guys. So one of the things about about the Pokedex that's actually pretty interesting is uh, in order to finish, in order to fill up your Pokedex, you'll look up here, you'll see I got a bunch of Pokemon with little poke, with Pokeballs beside them. That means I've gotten at least a research level 10 or higher, uh, which I actually think might cap at 10, sort of. I know it goes higher than ten, but I think like this, it stops recording at ten. Um, and that means I'm that means your research for them is complete. Uh, if you look on the on the research tasks for each Pokemon, it shows you what you, your options you can use. So for Infernape here, number uh, number of them that you've caught. So you want to catch multiple Pokemon. Um, number of them you've defeated in battle. Number of feet of ground type moves specifically. Times you've seen it use Flare Blitz, that's either when you're fighting it or fighting with it. Uh, same with Raging Fury, Agile style moves, and times you've stunned it by using items. That one's pretty interesting because that's actually, that one's outside of battle. You get like uh, Rotten Apricorns, Balls of Mud, uh, Sticky Clumps of, or Sticky Balls, um, or Sticky Lumps, whatever, I forget what they're called. These, these are items that you can throw at Pokemon to kind of like stun them. Um, I haven't really dabbled in that part of, in that part as much. So I don't know as much about that, but it apparently it's a good way to kind of if a Pokemon is chasing you down and you really want to catch it, you can just throw like a, like a few mud balls at it and stun it eventually, and you can try to catch it then. So you can kind of fight it yourself if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you get you do all that stuff, and you get like a little check mark whenever you get. So many of them done. Um, you take them back to the Pokemon, to the Pokemon professor of this game, uh, Laventon, La Laventon, um, and he'll mark them off. And if you've marked off enough, your research level goes to ten, and you get a little Pokeball on there. And your chances of finding shiny Pokemon are doubled now. Shiny versions of that Pokemon are doubled. Uh, if you master, so if you master it, it doubles yet it get once again. So it goes from one in four thousand to one in two thousand to one in, I think one in two hundred fifty-five. I think is what people I've heard people say. So it more than doubles if you master it. But I've seen exactly one shiny Pokemon so far, and it was actually for a is actually required for a quest. That's a shiny Ponyta. Oh look, a Jolteon. Uh, you know why not? By the way, if you're wondering why my poke, why my, why my Jolteon is called Jonteon, I've been, I've been watching a lot of uh, Proton John, and that's apparently in uh, one of his favorite Pokemon, and his fan called it John, made one called Jonteon. So yeah, just kind of thought it'd be a little tribute to that. I am a I am a plethora of references and in jokes. So one of the, one of the Pokedex entries talked about agile and strong agile and strong moves. Certain uh, Pokemon can master their move their move sets, and when you master them, you have the opportunity to either hit L on it and do an agile move, which will give you a higher chance of moving again. Uh, as you can tell, in the active order, it kind of changes. Uh, Leafeon's order here a little bit. Or you can do a strong move, which is a strong move, but slow, but you know, you're, you don't get to move as many turns. Um, so we're going to just do an agile move here. Agile moves also aren't as powerful. They're like, 
Uh, 10 points lower. Oh, and we have... Great. Uh, real quick, another thing, you can also move around during po po during during battle, so you can kind of get a better lay of the land. You can even put yourself in the middle of a fight and take damage. Which is kind of funny. And actually, I don't know if I should... Catch. Yep, you know what? I'm going to catch a... I'm going to catch a Jolteon there. That's... I saw, I was considering that I thought, oh, it's a female Jolteon. Better catch it. The maybe the one, maybe the last time I can get a female in a female in the Eevee line. Hold on. Oh, of course, it's not gonna use a. Uh. Now here's a question: Should I go ahead and take care of the Drapion first? I can switch over. There we go. Uh, crap baskets. None of my none of my moves are very effective except for Iron Tail. I uh, might as well. Oh! Uh, if I might get lucky, I might be able to catch both. Or Drapion can avoid the attack. It's right there. So Jolteon, so Jolteon just looked around. <laughs> and you realize grass. Uh. Oops. Uh. Yeah, let's go, Neela. Turn on your keep for once. <laughs> hey, my co-host is on. <laughs> she, all, all, she can't speak, but uh, <laughs> all she can do is just even say her own name over and over. What the heck? Oh, Jolteon used mimic. Okay. Took me a second to realize what the heck went on there. We can catch it this time. There we go. So as you notice, whenever you catch Pokemon, a little fireworks shoots up, which never not get, it never stops getting old. Um, so like some more of these shards here. So like I said, right now we're in a little time rest, which is a little special. Uh, actually, let me see if I can. All right. Oh, I'm almost dead. I no, no, head up. So yeah, you can die out in the field or faint. Um, when you do, you lose a portion of your stuff, including the linking cord I just got, which isn't that, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. Um, and you can hope. That someone else will be able to find it. So over here in the lost and found section, um, you can you actually you see we have a bunch of uh, satchels that people have lost. If we go out, we can act, if we go out into the areas that are listed under the location, we can actually find them. Um, we can get them, and we'll send them back to that person. Here's my satchels. None of which anyone has found yet. So, yeah. I don't know, uh... Let me see if it... Oh. That might be why. I've heard that some, I've heard that some of these people online, um, some of the things, some of the people we've seen here aren't uh, actual player. They could be uh, non-player characters, which would make sense because I've seen every one of these names on here at least multiple times. <laughs> Ava, Andy, Norm, Prosperity. Yeah, I've seen every one of these people multiple times by this point, which would explain why I haven't gotten my satchels found because I'm technically not online. <laughs> huh. Well, that's uh, sobering. So anyway, after you, 
collected your Pokemon, you can go to Professor Lavington at any of the camps. You open up your map. These little, uh, there you go. These little blue areas with the F. The F in the triangle. Those are your camps. You can go to those. But they just have an F. It's just a fast travel point. So you can just kind of, tra you can kind of travel quickly. Um, we'll actually go, we'll go into the Highland, the Highlands camp. Just kind of show that off real quick. Um, so yeah. And you can go to the camp. Uh, you can store your items that you've collected so you don't lose them. Or, you know, just kind of to store your items so you don't run out of space because you do have limited amounts of space. Um, and there's a lot of stuff you pick up in this game. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, got it. And yeah, so right here you can just see I've got three boxes full of items I've picked up. Very, ranging from various stuff like crunchy salt or plump beans. That are, you know, use those to kind of throw up Pokemon to kind of get their attention towards that thing. So you can kind of distract them. Or you can use them in recipes to make stronger versions of the same item, essentially. Um, then you have stuff like Caster Fern, Pop Pod, Radish, Sword Cap, Candy Truffle, Law, or Wood, Red Shards. These are all items that you use for crafting. Seed of Mastery, which you can use to have your Pokemon master moves faster. So you don't have to wait for them to automatically figure out how to do it after they level up. Or you can just be like me and just save them up because you don't really use that anyway. You also have the evolution items, such as, like I said, the linking cord for evolving Pokemon that would normally only evolve through, through trade. So that would be Haunter into Gengar, uh, Kadabra into Alakazam, Machoke into Machamp. Um, I don't know if I'm missing any others. I think those are the only three in the original 150. I think. Um, which, I hope this makes it into other games too, the Linking Cord. Because that's a, uh, that's a brilliant thing to do. And it's also a brilliant, it's also a, a wonderful reference. Um, yeah, Black Hogger, Magmarizer, Magmar Magmarizer, Electrolyzer. Razor Claw, like all the stuff, like evolution items. Um, Stealth Spray. Let's see what else here. Oh, I'm looking at the grid items here. Uh, instead of IVs and EVs in the game, for those of you who don't know what those are, those are like hidden values inside the Pokemon that determine how, like, how powerful their certain stats are. So let's check a uh, summary for Umbreon here. Uh, there you go. So you got your HP, your attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed. All those have like IVs and EVs in the, in the other games. And those are like some weird math equation that I don't understand that every time I look at, I wonder how is this a game that people think is just for kids? I mean, they have to solve complex maths. And, ugh. It's not, it's not important to the game, but it's like, if you want to be competitive, it is. They change that here to effort values. Or effort points, which you, which you automatically see. You see the little number beside each thing, um, and they they range from zero to ten, and it just basically determines how good the Pokemon is in that in that specific stat. I think it also determines how well they grow those stats as they level up. So it's better to kind of get these things up quicker at lower levels. Um, and the way you do that, the way you get them up is using the, uh, the Grit items. So you have, like, Grit Dust, Grit Gravel, Grit Pebble, and then Grit Rock. Uh, Grit Dust raises from 1 to 3, Gravel, uh, 4 to 6, Pebble, 7 to 9, and then Grit Rock just bumps it up to 10. Um, obviously it's easier to get the dust, then it is to get the gravel, then, then it is to get the pebble, then it is to get the rock. Yeah. Um, which you can actually see from my, uh, Pokemon team here. Uh, let me just go ahead and show off. You can kind of see how my po like, the highest I've seen a natural stat is like three, maybe? Uh, but all my Pokemon had like a two or lower stat in their stuff, so... 
Uh, let me show off John, uh, John here. Oh, oh, I'm sitting the wrong button there. He got some tins there, here and there already. So yeah, we're kind of, I'm kind of working on getting them up. Um, speaking of, I should probably go, out, go out ahead and show off the rest of my Pokemon squad. So this is my core group here. This is like the the ones I want to kind of either either level up or just kind of train the Pichu's here so I could level it up into Pikachu so I can finish my po get my some of my Pokedex for that. Um, here's my other two Eevees. You can kind of see I've got them up a bit. Um, here's Haunter with some funny letters. In his name, Sparky Senior. Again, an in joke I had with um, with myself in Pokemon Pearl. I had a Shinx uh, that evolved into eventually evolved into a, a Lu Luxio and then Luxard, I think. Um, named it Sparky. So I thought since this game takes place in the past and in the same region, why not have his great 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 possibly great 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 grandfather Sparky Senior Um then Deciduous uh originally was a Rowlet called I called it Rallo Rallowicious. That's kinda like a joke from uh My Little Pony had a character called Al It was an owl. And so as he evolved, I kept renaming him to the next form. Vicious. <laughs> Look, to me it was funny, okay? To me it was funny. Don't don't at me, people. It was funny to me. And I still think it's funny. Uh, there's a shiny ponytail I was talking about. I got that through a quest. There's my other Eevee, which I think... I think I need one more to finish the... the... So one of the weird things with the, with the Eevees is that... Or with all the, with certain Pokemon, you know, it record, it'll record you how many times you've evolved them. And they, for some reason, expect you, expect you to evolve multiple versions of the same Pokemon. So for P, uh, let me just look in the Pokedex here to kind of show an example. Oh, right here, Shinx. So right there, I've evolved Shinx once. And it evolved into Luxio, then Luxard. It expects you to do that two more times with two different Shinx. Which I think is kind of ridiculous to do that. But whatever. Uh, it's not required. Because as you can tell, I've already mastered his... Or not mastered, I've already completed the Pokedex entry for Shinx. And it's only there if you want to actually add more. Um, let's see. Uh, another thing I should go ahead and mention while we're on the... Yeah, so for, oh, so for the Eevees. For the Eevees. They want you to involve it ten times. Which is really weird because Eevees have eight evolutions. So they expect you to evolve two other Eevees just for the hell of it. And speaking of which, actually, because you may have noticed, you may have noticed out here, because I have gotten, uh, oops, wrong button. I want to see my Pokemon. So, I've gotten a few Pokemon here. <laughs> um, actually, no, they're all, oh, yeah, no, they're here. Yeah, okay, the ones, okay, so I don't know why, but I thought the Pokemon that I've caught so far during this run hadn't been put in the pastures yet. Okay, but they have. Um, speaking of... You can go ahead and uh, uh, uh. I'll just move this one. There we go. So I can finish up my evolutions with that one. Um, I'm still not done looking through here. So yeah. Uh, so you may notice we have a bunch of duplicate Pokemon. It's because the game really encourages you to capture lots and lots of the same Pokemon to fill out their Pokedex entries. Fortunately, we can just kind of go through and mass release them, which is how you get your grit gravel, grit dust, grit stone, etc., etc. 
Um, in fact, the more Pokemon, the higher level Pokemon you have, the higher your Gritstone stuff. Uh, your if you release the Alpha Pokemon that you catch, um, which I don't think I had a good chance of showing off what Alpha Pokemon were. Um, they're just stronger versions of that of that Pokemon. Um, they uh, they'll give you higher they'll give you higher level grit stuff when you release them as well. Defeating them or capturing them in battle will also drop uh, better items than what they would normally drop. Usually, you get like experience candies, uh, which are kind of like which are kind of like uh, rare candies, except kind of better in some cases. Um, yeah, let me go into this here. Pokemon you release back into the wild left a little something behind. Four sacks of grit dust, two grit rocks, sixteen sacks of grit gravel, and a grit pebble. Um, but yeah, uh, shoot, what was I think, what was I going to say here? Uh, oh yeah, 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 okay. So I was going to talk about the experience candy stuff, uh, which I don't have any. Uh, because, right, I used it already, earlier. So, in addition to rare candy, which levels up your Pokemon by one level, you get experience candies, which give you a certain amount of experience based on the size. You got experience candy small, or S, medium, large, extra large. Um, even, and one, one interesting thing, even at level 54, for example, or actually, actually, they pour into that level 50, I gave I gave them the gave them the experience XL candy and it went up two levels with the XL candy. So yeah, <laughs> rare candies are not the best thing to give a Pokemon if you want to level them up. Uh, at least not at least not a fifty four. But smaller experience candies, I, th I think no matter what the can the experience candy will give you a set amount of experience. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and talk to the Pokemon Professor here. Caught eight Pokemon. We'll go ahead and report our findings. I usually like to catch more because the more you catch, if you, he gives you extra, he gives you extra money if you catch ten, if you catch twenty. Uh, presumably, if you catch thirty, but I've never been out in the field long enough to catch thirty. Um. But yeah, and right there you see our rewards are from Pokemon species caught, um, caught using a backstrike, caught in time and space. Uh, just general Pokemon caught. It'll also give you give you uh, extra for catching alphas, catching new Pokemon that you haven't recorded yet, um, and so on. So just about everything you do in terms of catching Pokemon is important to some degree. Uh, we made some new discoveries, most limiting. I was I'll fill your Pokedex, and so he shows you the entries of just the Pokemon that you've uh, gotten better stuff that you've gotten more information on. Um, so yeah. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is with some of these Pokemon introduct with some of these Pokemon Pokedex entries, they don't seem uh, fully done. So for example, Rhyhorn here, uh, we've got a male and female variant. We've got their weight, we've got their height, uh, we got their favorite foods that they or their preferred foods that you can you know throw those foods, uh, the items they carry. But we don't have a Pokemon, a Pokemon entry in there for them. We don't have a Pokedex entry. Uh, that's because we need to finish the Pokedex entry, get our research up to level 10. And that requires us to get a few more entries here. Uh, as I've mentioned. Uh, real quick, and I know this has been all over the place, but real quick. Uh, where you see the little arrows, that gives you, I believe that gives you double the points than you normally would get. Uh, most everyone has, like, catching... Um, but, and I think any of them that can evolve, they usually have some form of seeing them evolve. Yeah, that's usually preferred. Um, but yeah. So for complete entries, we can see their actual entry. For example, while, while Octillery, <coughs> hold on, I gotta do this in the proper voice. While Octillery still shoots water from its mouth. The drastic anatomical, anatomical difference between it and Remoraid meant that for a long time, no one believed the former evolved from the latter. 
I did a tear. I do. I cannot do a robot voice. Actually, if I, took, if I took the time to edit that, I could probably make it sound pretty good. <laughs> I I'd have to. Actually, I'd probably have to. Blo I'd have to block out that whole thing. Block out the whole thing and redo the uh, redo the audio because I I stuttered too much. But I don't know. I probably could make it work. A proto de a proto Pokedex voice. So get get it can make it sound a little scratchy, like it's still messing up. Um, but yeah. So we're done. We get level up here. Um, and if we get enough to level up, we get another star. Uh, we get or we get eligible for another star. We go back to our, we go back to town and talk to Silene. Uh, this one with what I can only describe as resting B face. Um, in, eternally resting B face. <laughs> um, she'll give you a star, and then the higher stars, the more the more newer Pokeballs you can craft, the better Pokeballs you can use, and the higher level Pokemon you can catch. Which at this point doesn't really matter because I can already catch. I can already level. I can already level up to level one hundred Pokemon, and I can already use Ultra Balls. And the equivalent of Ultra Balls. So yeah. You can talk to him to return to the village. Um, so yeah, real quick. I do want to show off. At least in the crafting system here. I got I got to show it off. So we have a regular Pokeball. Great Ball. Ultra Ball. And instead of. Other. Instead of the other kind of weird funky balls. That we get in Gen 2 onward. We instead have Heavy Ball. Leaden Ball. Feather Ball. Or Gigaton Ball. Which acts as a uh, this ball has a greater chance of catching the Pokemon but they're heavy and they don't go really far so you have to get you have to pretty much get right up on the Pokemon to catch them then you have feather ball wing ball jet ball which is like the exact opposite it is ideal for catching flying Pokemon but also it go far it goes very far <laughs> Um, and also, in addition, you also have all your stuff you can craft, you know, potions, super potion, uh, let's see, your regular potion, your super potion, hyper potion, max potion, full restore, uh, remedies, etc., revives, um, like I said, you've got your smoke ball, scatter bang, which you can use to scare off certain Pokemon, um, and actually, and actually you need to use that to fill out your Pokedex entry for gold for gold duck, for example, you gotta scatter you gotta scatter bang them um, as a option to fill out your Pokedex entry. Um, right there we see a shaking tree. Uh, as you may have noticed earlier from the beginning of the video, we can actually smack that tree and out will come a Pokemon. And actually I'll get Nope. <laughs> And right there you saw we were too far away from the battle. So, you have two options when you're in a Pokemon battle. You can either press B on when it's your turn to run away. Or you can just actually run away. <laughs> um, let's see, what else, what else can we talk about here? Uh, one thing you may be wondering. Uh, t so... Pokemon do learn moves, and you can actually change their moves whenever you want from their pool of moves. They can only use four moves at a time, but there's no more of this forgetting moves. They just remember them, so you can kind of switch out. Um, let's see here. Hmm. I'm trying to think. There you go, and there you go. We'll, we'll do that. And there you go. Umbreon's news changed. Umbreon can now use Rock Smash. Now use Snarl. Um, I don't remember them doing that, sec that, that, that last part where they tell you what moves they can, mo they can learn, or they can use. But I guess maybe because it's a first time move. First time, the, first time that they've been able to use that. First time I've switched their moves like that with the, uh, talking too much. 
Um, I need to just talk. I need to shut up before I put my foot in my mouth even even further. Um. So yeah. Uh. So yeah. So you may have noticed. How do you tell HMs from TMs? Well, HMs and TMs are no longer a thing. In fact, in order to learn in order to learn new moves, you go to a uh, a move trainer in the at the dojo. Um, and she can teach you your Pokemon new moves. As for traversal moves, stuff like swim, or in or in this case, uh, it would be the equivalent of your bike. You actually have to find special Pokemon in the field. Uh, you find them through doing quests. In this case, I have weird weird deer. The first one you get. Um, Ursa Luna, the second one you get, who can actually use Dig. Um, as you can see right here, he's sensing where to go. And if you follow the little... The, oh. Pick that up while I'm at it. Um, yeah, you Dig and I don't... Oh, Uh-oh. Ah! Parasect! Uh... I don't know, why can't, why can't I access my Pokemon? Is it, is it because I'm poisoned? Yeah, I, I get things because I'm poisoned. Um, so anyway, so yeah. Ursa Luna, like I said, you can use Dig, um, which I'll try to show off here. Um, if you follow the scent... Oh, there you go. You can dig for items. And it's a good way to kind of just get a bunch of items. Um, I also have Klein from Sneasler, which I just recently gotten. And she can get up all these uh, mountain sides that you can't get up. Because for some reason, your character can't jump. Oh, and I'm at the edge of the map, so I can't go any further anyway. Um, and you also cannot use Pokeballs or Pokemon while on your riding Pokemon. Also, Sne Sneasler, you just... You just hide in a box. It's so funny. <laughs> just see your eyes. It's so funny. Um, but also in order to swim, you get another Pokemon called Basket Legion. Which I'll go ahead and actually switch over to Weird, Weird Deer because I can run and jump with Weird Deer. You get Basket Legion. Which you can throw your items on Basket Legion. I don't know why this is the only one you can do it on and you can't do it with the others. I don't know why they do put such a stupid restriction like that in. But also when you're in the air, because you can jump, and you can double jump in the air as a, fi as a fish. Again, the only Pokemon that can do this. Don't know why. I mean, actually, I know why for that one, because there's no way you can get up here with just a regular jump. Or, you know, just shut me up, game. Just show me your, the pointlessness of using a double jump. Um, but anyway, when you jump as Basket Legion, you can hold out your items and it slows down time so you can get a better shot. So this is basically that, uh, uh, focus aiming that you see in shooters nowadays. You can just activate. Um. Oh! I didn't mean- I thought I had my- That's embarrassing! Uh, that was embarrassing, but I knew that was going to happen. So, throughout this game, I have been doing exactly what you see here. I meant to throw a Pokeball, but instead I threw a Pokemon out. Because I am a dummy. I am a dummy, dumb, dumb, dumb boy. Man. Child. Man, child. Who forgets that it, who? And he added Pokemon out. I've also done the same reverse. I've also done the reverse where I've accidentally thrown my Pokeball at, say, a tree instead of my Pokemon, and I end up wasting a Pokeball for it. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't climb waterfalls. Yeah. Basket Legion doesn't know waterfall yet. <laughs> um. But yeah, those of you who've never played, who hasn't seen anything from about Arceus, are probably wondering who in the world are all these these three these four Pokemon we've seen. 
they're new to the game. And hopefully they'll be in the next generation. I imagine they will. Hopefully the next generation will basically be more of this. I would love if they just... The next actual Pokemon game. You can just toss your Pokemon out to get items. Toss the balls out to get Pokemon. You don't have to fight every Pokemon you, you run into. Yes, it might be helpful to... Um... Right there's the satchels I was talking about. You can find satchels in the world. In fact, let me go and see if I can find one. These are so close. Um, and hopefully they'll just continue to to improve this formula. Um, as opposed to uh, just resting on their laurels and going back to the same old, same old. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. If Pokemon releases... If the next Pokemon game, Pokemon, I don't know, I don't know what they call it. They went with Sword and Shield and that kind of killed the formula. Pokemon, I don't know, Pokemon Scissors and Rock. I feel like that would be a thing they would do. And then they'd come out with another... And then you come out with a third version called Pokemon Paper. Except they don't do that anymore. <laughs> they don't do that anymore, they'll just release DLC, which... You know, good on them for at least doing that. Though I do think... up oh, there's the... there's the satchel. Pick up the satchel. And then we can go into our lost and found. Select the satchel that we found. Yes, and get merit points for it, or MP, which then we can use to buy evolution stone items, or evolution evolution items. Pretty. I think that's all they. No, they sell some pokeballs there too. Some more wood. So yeah, uh, one thing I. Uh, there we go. So one thing I want to mention about the mounts, the mount Pokemon. So. In order for you to run normally, you push down on the control stick, and you run. Hit Y to dodge, instead of jump. B to duck and unduck. Okay, I'm with you there so far. When you're in the Pokemon, when you're in a ride Pokemon, clicking the stick does nothing. Y jumps, okay, I'm still with you on that. B runs. Okay, but why not let me click the stick to run? Like, I've been doing, like, this feels so counterintuitive to do, like, to do that, do it that way. And I get, I guess the idea, I guess the idea is because you're on the Pokemon, the controls will be different, but, like, that kind of feels like an arbitrary change, if we're being honest. We're gonna turn our one Pokemon. <laughs> I normally don't. Unless I'm doing a quest, specifically I normally don't do that, but I want to go into town to show that off. Um, most illuminating, you found one discovery. Oh, oh, really? I haven't seen... Oh, I guess I haven't really gotten into any... Oh no, I fought it before, how come I never just seen his ancient, ancient power? Huh. Also, I've got the feet with rock type moves, that's another thing I gotta do. Um, yeah, so right here, you see where it says number, number you've evolved. It only expects you to evolve this one, this guy, once. That's weird, right? It doesn't expect the other Pokemon. And got next to nothing there. Um, so we're going to return to the, vill the village. Uh, many people have described this as the Breath of the Wild of Pokemon, but also... Actually, many people describe this as Monster Hunter, rather. Many people have said this is more akin to Monster Hunter, which I've never played a Monster Hunter game, but I do know that, like, you know, you have one town and you have, like, several different areas you can go to. Um, I do know that formula. And if we're being honest, it makes sense for Pokemon to go that route. <laughs> um, especially if you're going to do the Monster... If you're going to... I mean... Monster Hunter is basically just Pokemon, except you kill all the monsters instead of catch them. You kill them so you can get you can get their materials so you can make better weapons, as opposed to you just 
fight the monsters here to make your other monsters that you've already caught str even stronger. Let's see what else do I need to put in? Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, here's Jubilife Village. Uh, you have the exit of Jubilife, which will lead that you talk to this guy or just try to walk out. Um, and you get to pick where you want to go. You ask what camp you go to. Uh, usually, when you enter an area for the first time, you start off with one. Then you get your second camp. Um, now, what's weird is that there are other fast travel points. Like, say, for example, Diamond Settlement and Brava Arena for the Crimson Mile Lands. Uh, that you cannot... Yeah, I cannot select these. I can only select, I can't, I can't select anything in, in this map, but I can only select the actual camp that has been set up. Don't know why they do that, because I'm not gonna lie, the camps are not really set up in, in the best place. Let me actually pull up my actual map here and show what I mean. Obsidian Fieldlands is, kind of, is a great example of like it being set up right. So you have your you have your entry camp here, and then you have I guess you could say your midway camp here. It's about halfway in the middle of the map, and then you have way over here you have the Grand Tree Arena, which is where you fight the the boss of this area. So you kind of have a decent yeah you have kind of a decent spread. It would be great to have a fast a fast travel over here and here, so you know it's a little easier to travel around, but you know, I get it, you know, makes sense. Here, uh, this, this one's not too bad if you include the settlement and the arena. Because you get a good spread of, like, uh, the camp over here, which is towards the farther end. The entry camp, and then you have, like, the diamond settlement, which kind of helps cover this upper area here that's harder to navigate to, get to. Or at least it was before I got, before I got Sneasler. And then, if I can remember to push the right buttons, you have the Cobalt Coastlands. This whole area, you have your first camp, your second camp, and way over here you have your arena, which is in the middle of a volcano, so it's not really a good place to put it anyway. And then you have this little area over here that you don't get to do anything with. In fact, you can actually completely, to my knowledge, you don't ever have to go to the Ispili Shore in Spring Path at all yet. I'm sure later on you will, but yeah. That's kind of like how this game is. If you just beeline everything, you end up missing a lot. Um, but anyway, so like I said, uh, going back, we have Jubilee Village. We have our exit point there. We have our Pokemon Pasture here, which we can talk to. This woman here, and she'll let you see your Pokemon. You can release your Pokemon from their pasture, and there you go. A guy comes up. It, yeah, it's kind of better to release your Pokemon when you're out when you're out in the field because you don't have to deal with the half, the half, half, half. It'll, excuse me. The millisecond of extra time with this guy coming. <laughs> it's really not worth going to the field if you just want to spend some time in the village, though. Um, you have the housing district over here. It's just all the houses, all the local houses. It's where most of the quests will be. You have uh, the Seattle building is a photo center. You can take pictures with your Pokemon. Uh, you have... Uh, I'm not sure what this place is. I don't think this place is open. Uh, here's a clothing shop, so you can come here to buy more clothes. Um, she also asks you to get... Each of these shops also have some more, some quests to kind of help you enhance your, uh... Enhance your experience by giving you more stuff to buy. So, yeah. Uh, we got basically... Oh, oh. I don't think I've seen the toxic. Yeah, toxic's new. Spooky is new. 
Uh, yeah, I've seen insect in mine. So yeah, um, you get out. You get yeah. You get different pants. And you get outfits. But you just kind of replace your current outfit entirely. You're just kind of like suits and just like one piece. I just kind of like one piece items. Shoes. And glasses. So if you want to give your character some cute glasses to wear. Or make them look like. <laughs> make them look like a fancy pants. Uh, or make them look like a hipster. Actually, I have a pair of the tinted glasses. I thought they'd look good on Lena here, but nope. Um, snow goggles. If you want to. If you really want to get rid of that dead eye stare that these, that these characters have. It's like, I've seen stuff that'll make you turn white. <laughs> I just realized I made a joke Ghostbusters reference there. <laughs> they'll make it. We've seen stuff that'll make you turn white. <laughs> um, see, someone's yours for price. Yeah, the shopkeeper, which I've just done a quest to, get, to help expand the shop. So, if I need to, I can buy. Uh, all the stuff that you see before you. I think wing balls and lead balls are the big. Those and I think max restore, max potions. Uh, I think those are the big ones. I don't remember. I don't buy from the shop. I usually, I usually sell the shop. And speaking of which, we can do some selling. So we can... From the shop, we can sell from our inventory or from our item boxes. So if we have stuff that we don't want, that we don't want or don't need, like this auxiliary guard, which I don't ever use, swap snack. I never end up using items like that on in battle. Uh, let's see, if we have let's say one too many black augurites, which you used to evolve Pokemon. We can sell those. Um, one too many stones, which I've actually used, had to sell some water stones, I had a bunch of them. I had five at one point, and I sold three of them off. Um, which may or may not have been a good idea, I don't know. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. Um, if we go in here, we, of course, have fast travel here as well, we can... Or to the training grounds. Yeah, it's. I want to go ahead and mention, even though the game looks like looks like hot garbage, like this game looks like is it could have run on the Wii or GameCube. Like seriously, it does not look good. Game Freak needs to hire some 3D animator, 3D develop, 3D 3D artists. Seriously, they need to, they need to hire themselves some 3D artists. Can't be worth it for much longer. Like they got away with it this time, but oh my god, look at that! Look at that lantern. It looks so. Oh my god. Uh, that looks like throw up. Uh, that looks like they. It looks like they looked at anti-aliasing and said, "Nah, nah, we're gonna do the exact opposite of anti of anti-aliasing." It's like, why though? Why do you want your things to look like garbage? Because it'll piss off the fanboys. And you know what? You're right. You made a good game that looks like that looks bad, and it makes me angry that it looks so bad. <laughs> like the humans here never never seem to talk or move. Um. But yeah, so here at the training dojo, we ha we can talk to this. Big, big woman. <laughs> this giant woman. All I want to be is a boy who gets to see a giant woman. <laughs> yeah, big beefy gal who teaches your Pokemon all the moves. You can also master moves with the seeds. You can exchange items. So if you have too many uh, grit, if you have 10 or more grit, items you can upgrade them to the next level so 
dust, 10 dust for one gravel, 10 gravel, gravel for one pebble, 10 pebble for one rock. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, grit pebble. 20, yeah. So if you have enough, she'll offer you, instead of just 10, she'll offer, instead of just for the 10, she'll offer you however much you can get the most out of. So for example, here we get 20. If we had 40, she'd offer 40 for, tw for four instead of 20 for two, uh, which I'm gonna actually take that offer because I need those more than I do anything else. Um, and let's see. And there we don't have any. Uh, so we're gonna go in and actually learn some moves. Let's see, who was the one I wanted to... Umbreon. There we go. Can I teach Umbreon? Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. I already know Psychic, why didn't... Oh, because I already have... I already have... A... Dark Pulse, that's actually better. Okay. Uh, was it. Did you found maybe? Could teach it Aerial Ace. Let's see. Eh. No, I'm actually, good. I'm actually good with this moves. See Neela. Could. Uh. Okay, so here's the problem. I see all those fairy moves. I'm like, that's. That's great and all that because the fairy types are the same type of attack bonus and everything, but at the same time, I feel like you need to get some move diversity in there in case you end up fighting a Pokemon that's. that knows. that's, you know, not at all effective against. I'm gonna go ahead and teach Rock Smash anyway, just because it's cheap. There we go. Hiya! Yeah, they still don't do animations in this game. In fact, there's there's one quest I had to do for finding a combi. I had to find a combi from each area um, and give it to this guy so he could taste its honey. Screen goes black. You see the dialogue box come up, slurp, slurp, screen unfade, you see the guy's face, his eyes closed. I'm sorry, I'm 30, I'm a 33 year old man, so my brain immediately goes to something dirty when I hear slurping noises. And also like, Game Freak has to know, right? Like, there's gonna be kids who play this game who are gonna think that. Oh, well, you know, teenagers, young adults, but you know, still. <sighs> and they're not gonna know why they're laughing because they haven't figured out sex jokes yet, but still. Um. So yeah. <laughs> um. Let's eat medical. So right here we have the fields. You see we got some Pokemon up here, including a pretty big Machoke, uh, an Alpha Machoke, by the way. Uh, yeah, they don't normally cut. They don't normally make them this big. Um, I had to get a Pokemon. Let's see, I had to get a rock, uh, rock type Pokemon or, or Pokemon that could dig. So there's Rhyhorn for that. A Pokemon that knew water. For so Vaporeon, and then a strong, a strong muscular Pokemon that could to help fill out these fields. And as you do that, you get more, um, you get more options on the field. So now they start off with just Apricorn. Then once you fill it out the first time, you get me uh, medicinal, and then you just unlock more and more as you go along. It's kind of side quests for the main that you unlock during the main game. I would highly recommend you do that as soon as you can. <laughs> um, and then, one thing I've just learned too. Uh, I thought it was based on time. I wasn't sure. Um, but no, it's based on the number of Pokemon you catch. So, 
Uh, I think you want to catch around like uh, anywhere from like eight to twenty. It depends on what crops you want to grow. The lower, the lower down the list, the more you need to catch. Um, before uh, before it's ready to go. Um, there's the Galaxy Hall. Um, so yeah, one weird thing about this is you work for the Galaxy Tribe, or Galaxy Clan. Which is really weird, because in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Team Galaxy were the bad guys, right? Or Team Galactic? I tend to remember that. So it's kind of a little weird. That, you, that you're essentially playing as... That you're the good guys in this, but then like hundreds of years later, you're going to be known as the bad guys, or at the very least, a group of people are going to take your name. Um, so yeah. So anyway, here we can talk to Simona, um, and this is where you can trade Pokemon online if you have an online subscription. Um, you can get items. So this is where your merit points come into play. So when you find the stuff, you can buy the different items that you can use to evolve Pokemon. Uh, there's the upgrade and dubious disc for Porygon. Um, the metal coat for uh, evolving Scyther into Caesar, I think. And Onyx into Steel. I know Onyx into Steel looks for certain. Um, you get your evolutionary stones for your Eevees, um, which I made the mistake of buying the Ice Stone, and then I had to go buy back and buy a Leaf Stone, because that's the one stone of all these stones I've seen, I think aside from Dusk, and Dusk and Moonstone are the only other two I haven't seen yet, that haven't popped up in some way, shape, or form in this game. I've gotten an Oval Stone a few times. I've gotten several Ice, Thunder, Water, and, and Fire Stones, but I haven't seen a single Leaf Stone drop in the world. I don't know if I'm just that unlucky, or if it's really that hard that hard to find. Um, or, if you, or if you're dumb enough, you can just, or desperate enough, you can just buy Pokeballs. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure why you'd want to buy Pokeballs. It'd probably, probably be cheaper just to buy the... Eh, be about the same. Oh no, it'd be cheaper. Yeah, cause it'd be a hunt. So to buy one of each, and then craft into a Pokeball. Yeah, yes, yeah, so the materials would actually be cheaper. It's to buy them and craft them yourself. I'm actually, speaking of, want to see me do something stupid? Actually, actually, that's not a bad idea to do that. I'm going to drop this down considerably to about 500 instead. There we go. And... I'm going to do the same thing and get about 500 apricorns. This is the first time I've actually bought any any of these items. I think I've bought iron chunks. Because I was kind of desperate for iron chunks at the time. And as you can tell, I'm not anymore. <laughs> um, since then, I've also got... Yeah. Since then, I've actually gotten a lot more... Uh, Let's see here. I'm trying to think of how much exactly I'm gonna. Yeah, we'll do that. Then I can make twenty-two. Oh, no on. There you go. One o one o two. That's all I wanted to. Do. Uh. Make 40. I just want to get rid of these wing balls before I start using the jet balls, though. 
Yeah. So yeah. Um, here we can buy experience candies. So, yeah. I have not bought a single experience candy in this game at all. They keep giving you out, giving them out, giving yeah. They keep giving them out of quests. Um. Oh, right here we can get our hairstyle changed. Be warned, you have to buy the hairstyle. You have to buy your haircut first, and you're kind of stuck. Even if you don't change, if you don't change your hairstyle, you're kind of stuck. Um, you can talk to this guy here. Special product, wing ball set. Uh, nah. Uh, that'll get you, like, I think, 10? Or 20 wing balls if you buy it from him. Which is a bad deal. But at the same time, I don't need wing balls. Because I'm just, I'm trying to get rid of my wing balls. So I can start using my jet balls. My better versions of them. And now watch as my OCD takes over. And I... Hold up, wait, what? This item won't have any effect. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just want to see what, ha what happened there. Yeah. I want to go ahead and say for some reason, I'm playing this with the Joy-Cons. Because um, I found a, a fix from for Joy-Con Drift and I'm just kind of like... Stress testing, testing a thing, I guess you could say. It seems like it's working so far. I haven't had any, any real problems. I think I had like one or two scares, but I don't know if it was just like, it seemed to, they, it's been like a while ago and it hasn't, hasn't seen been problem accidents. Um, so yeah, I don't know if anyone else knows about this, but you can take, if you take apart your Joy-Cons, um, there's like a little spot you can actually put like a, like a thick sheet, a thick piece of like a uh, paper. Like a card stock, a card stock or something. And I used some old, like old insurance cards that had had expired, and for some reason I still had them. And these are like little, like plastic cards. Like they're like the same thickness, but they're plastic. And so I cut that up into shape, thinking, "Hey, that's gonna that's gonna last longer than you know, piece of paper, piece of plastic can last longer." Uh, seems like it's worked. I don't have any Joy-Con drift or whatever. Um, and just to be safe, I put it on my other, con on my other Joy-Con, even though that wasn't having any problems. Um, I think the idea is it's supposed to apply just a bit of pressure onto the, jo onto the joystick mechanism to keep it from drifting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It seems like it's been working. So yeah. And like I said, aside from like one or two scares or I thought, I thought, oh, oh, I'm going to have to do something um, it hasn't really given me any problems um, except in the menu um, so in the menu it seems to give me some issues like it feels weird trying to move things around here sometimes and I don't know if it's just me or if it's just like maybe it's a control stick or something going on in my head it's like some sort of weird placebo or, or anti placebo effect I don't know if that's I'm gonna say it's a, I'm gonna say placebo, even if it's but yeah, it's uh, it's weird. Um, let's see. I'm going to the starting area as for a little bit and check that out. So yeah. Um. Oh, I might as well go ahead and show. You can have all 60 of your Pokemon out. And just, uh, let me see here.
Go. <laughs> Let me, uh... Oh, no, that's not gonna let me do that. I'm gonna try to get behind them and get a, get a good full, full pick of all my EVs. Um, but that's not, uh, not gonna work. Okay, so yeah, all your, uh... For some reason, your, your Pokemon don't seem to move. I don't know why. I... Actually, I think I think I can guess why. They don't they don't move around. They don't move around in the village either. They just kind of stand there and look at you. Or they might just do some sort of idle animation. I think they do that to keep your Pokemon from messing up outside. It's kind of because like when you get into battles, you can only you can only do your Pokemon versus whatever. Pokemon you're fighting. So it becomes a, it becomes more difficult when you have to deal with you know up to six people fight. Um uh, let's see. And try to see if I can get behind this Geo dude. Oh, oh, I got behind it. <laughs> I was trying not to get hurt. And you know what? Let's do ice beam. I kind of like. I kind of like says, you know, a Vaporeon, a water type Pokemon can learn ice beam. <laughs> actually, I'm not sure if ice is actually super effective against water type. It has to be, right? How do I figure this out? Oh, fudge. There was... Oh, survey tips, right? Until I've never looked back at this. Yeah, they're unknown in the game. You can catch all... 28 unknown? I think there's 28. Uh, huh. I don't know why. Uh, Pokemon moves, right? Nope. Type matchups, there we go. Okay, uh... Oh boy, this is not... I'm gonna have to look. They have this... They have this list up, but they don't have a way for us to find it? Okay, ice and water are not very effective. Okay. So you see a triangle in there, it's not very effective. A circle is super effective in this. And a little dot is just regular effective. X, don't even bother, does nothing. So lightning, so like electricity doesn't, yeah, lightning type does not do damage to ground type. Actually, if you look at the top, if you look at the top, very top. So on the left there, you see the norm, the normal type. You move all the way over towards the end of that list. You see the ghost. So the thing that looks like a ghost. Yeah. So meaning that your normal moves, your physical moves, cannot hurt ghosts. Yet fire punch still can. I guess that I guess that's more than just a physical move, right? Because it's using magic. Using special powers. <sighs> well, yeah. Well, let's see if we can get another satchel here. Oh, I thought I thought that was a satchel right over there. Oh my God, Staravia attacking me. <laughs> That's so fun playing. Like you're in a you're in this box, your eyes staring open, it's so funny looking.
I know many people are gonna say it's cursed. No, no, it's just goofy looking. Uh, by the way, you can indeed take fall damage in this game. Can I catch the magic carp. Yep, caught the magic carp. Or I didn't. That one worked this time. There we go. I have had the worst luck with trying to catch water Pokemon in the water. Oh, that's an alpha. Nope. Shoot. Okay, well... Holy cow! Magikarp can actually hurt you in this game! And it's 55! Hold up! It's 55?! Doesn't Magikarp evolve at like level 10?! That's weird. Okay, so I'm actually gonna wanna catch this one. Or just kill it. <laughs> um, I mean, it works, I guess. Um, by the way, I have seen Gyarados in the game too, and you can. Uh... No! What the? Wait, hold on, what? How? I. Didn't exit off my... I didn't push the button to dismount. But then it wouldn't let me remount. I really didn't, I just wasn't paying attention. I want to try something. Nope. That's what happens if you push the plus button. So clearly, clearly that battle was not meant to be. Um, so yeah, where am I right now on the map? Going down this way, yeah. I always push the wrong buttons. You know what's weird? In Mario games, the B button is jump, the Y is run. In Pokemon, it's the exact opposite. For some arbitrary reason. Ooh, there's a whisk. So, very early on in the game, you'll get a quest by some weird little girl to collect all the wisps in all over the region. Um, these wisps are just kind of random collectibles that you get for playing the game. Um, they get for just kind of exploring and going collecting them. After you get so many whiffs, you can talk to her and she'll give you rewards for them as you go along. Or you can just get their, or you can just get them all at once, I guess, if you want to do that. Um, not sure why you'd want to do that, though. I'm gonna try... Oh, of course. I got them angry before I could uh, is this the weasel okay so there is a quest that you get really early in this game. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you it right now. Um, big Buizel, Little Buizel. You need to find a Buizel that is, has a height of at least 2.8 inches. Or 2.2 feet 8 inches. I have only found, at maximum height, Buizels of 2.7 inches. 
I have been doing that quest since the beginning of the game. It was literally one of the. It was actually, well, it was literally one of the first quests I could take when I first started. Oh, there's a graveler I can fight. Oh, the Alpha Graveler! Okay, I'll fight the Alpha Graveler. Actually, if I can catch it, I can evolve it into a Golem. That's one of the ones that needs a linking cable. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna do Agile just to see what happens. He's probably gonna kill it. Yeah, level 30. Yep. And I see some shimmering rocks over there. Uh, whenever you see the whenever you see the rocks shimmer like that, it usually means you can get more than just the regular tumble stone. Which, if you haven't noticed, which I'm sure you've noticed by now, the tumble stones are needed for. Uh, where am I? I don't recognize. <laughs> Oh, this is where I... Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know, I know where I am. I know where I am now, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold on. Oh! Yeah, yeah, okay. I got turned around because I wasn't used to, uh... There it is. Ooh, excuse me, I wasn't used to traveling in the in the um, in the water in this in this region. I also want to say the the mount Pokemon are really the travel Pokemon are really kind of weird because they don't they don't like completely adhere to your movement the way you think they would. It's like a slight delay in their movements, it feels like. I say that, and now I'm having trouble proving that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, right there. When, when, it's, when they, it's when they pick up speed. Yeah, I think it's when they're, when they're actually moving and you're trying to get them to move around, they have that delay. But he knows it with the longer, the, the Earth Luna, Basque Legion, and Weird Deer. That's a weird spot. Uh oh, what the? Okay, that was weird. Um, you guys saw that the cursor started drifting there, but I don't. Yeah, there's a delay there for a second. Just that you know, as it was drifting down, I stopped right about there. Yeah, there, there was some sort of delay. It's some sort of like response delay or something, connectivity issue or something with with the controller, I think. Dude, that or the game says so not able to read it for a split second. Yeah, fall into the water. A nuclear no this island is for. Uh, let's see if I can do that. I can catch a... Try to catch an Alpha... Hercules, uh... I was mentioning his name earlier, and now I can't think of it. Uh... Heracross, there you go. I remember it just, just before the name popped up. Yay, and I got the hair across. 
Makes sense. Heracross. Heracles. Being the actual name for Hercules. The Hercules Beetle. There technically should be a Heracles Beetle. Anything about it? Let's see, I've heard. There's an amazing Wigglytuff up here. An Alpha Wigglytuff or some. or Chansey that we can fight. Up, up here, or is it. I think it's over. Oh, I think it's over here. Oh, uh, I don't want to go all the way over for it. To fight it right now. Even if I go to the fast travel point, it's still going to take a while. Um, I can't go any further. Ooh. I did mention you can take fall damage in this game. Let's see. I'm going to try to... God! I did it again! I got as far enough I didn't trigger the fights. <laughs> Basically just doing that just because I can. At this point it's not really worth getting into battles around here. I mean, granted, still, even at level 50, these level 12 Pokemon can still hit. Level 20 Pokemon can still hurt you. Yeah, we switch on, switch on to now, because I think they count as flying, right? So light, so electricity should be super. Yeah, there we go. And okay, good. John Tian's not gonna hit himself with his own confusion. <laughs> He's not gonna be his namesake. <laughs> oh. Though, to be fair, considering some of the stuff I've seen in Proton John put, uh. streams, <laughs> he has every right to be confused, especially when. Oh. That man, that, that man, I feel so sorry for him. He is the master of glitches. He's a master of getting glitches that no one knows how the heck that happens. <laughs> okay. What else can we do here? Because we're in for the long haul at this point. Um, actually, no, I think we're probably, eh, I think we're, I think we're done for the day. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's a good place to, good place to call it. So let's go back to camp. We've been going on for about, what, an hour and 40 minutes? Jeez. This is, this is the kind of thing this kind of game can do to you. You play for an hour and you didn't even know it's been an hour. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do everything we need here. Um, hair cross, which I think that actually finished it for us. Or he actually on. He he may have been finished long before. We add on to Jolteon. We added on to Magikarp. It's right there. Going back to the evolve part, number you've evolved. They expect you to evolve Magikarp into Gyarados ten times. Why do they need to do that? Oh, anyway, here's the female version. Here's the male. 
Can't tell the difference. You can X to see them closer and swap out. Which I've actually had to do this a few times to some of the Pokemon differences like in their tails or, the, or in their backs. Um, in this case, it's the whiskers. The whiskers are yellow for male, white for female. If you got hair across here. Hair across you can easily tell it's the horn. Heart shaped horn for the female. More of a prong, I guess you could say a forked horn for the male. Which is kind of cool. There we go. Um, and I think, oh, if you ever need to rest to reheal your Pokemon, you have the tent right here you can rest. Um, you can choose, you can also choose to rest until morning, midday, evening, or nightfall. So if you need to change the time up, um, crafting is always, o is always over here. You craft, um, so you have two ways of crafting in the game. You have the crafting boxes you have here at the camps that give you access to everything that's in your storage. Or, you have the crafting in your inventory, you go into your key items. The very first item you get is a crafting kit. And you can use that to craft items that, but only with the items you have in your inventory currently. So yeah. Um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a revive and then I'll make... There we go. There you go. And that's all the stuff I could do at the moment in my inventory. I could also change it up. So I got, as you can see, I got now more options. Because I have more stuff in my in my storage. You can even make some max potions. Um there you go. Uh let's say you can access your storage. You can talk to this guy to access can you talk to this guy to rest, access your Pokemon and do some shopping. So if you need to buy or sell, which I'll probably mostly sell. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sell that. Or I could sell everything all at once. How much money? Actually, how much? 72,000? Hmm. That's still 40,000. Oh, 39 rather, but. Oh. Wow, that's. Oh, because I have so many of these. Oh, wow, that, that's really. Okay, that's not really worth it then. It's worth just keeping everything else. Okay, that diatribe done, I think. Once I put everything up, because I gotta be anal about this stuff. It's funny, because if you see my room... Actually, my room's in a lot better condition right now than it normally, than it normally would be. Uh, it's fairly disorganized. But I had to sit here for hours on end organizing my inventory when a game lets me do it. Like, if I auto-organize this, my satchel, Pokeballs go down here. Go underneath the potions. I don't like it. I like my Pokeballs being up here at the top. I like my throwing items up here at the top. I like having my little row of healing items over here. And then everything else down beneath that. It drives me up the walls. And actually, I need to get that out. Because I actually do need that out. Um, as for organizing the, the storage bin, I don't mind them organizing it that way. But yeah. 
Um, let's see what else. You can see our Pokemon from there. Uh, the rest to heal up. Yeah, we'll rest to heal up real quick. There we go. And with all that said, I think we'll go ahead and this off here. So yeah. Until next time. Um, oh, I probably should give my final thoughts. Uh, yeah, buy the game. Buy it. Sh if you're a fan of Pokemon, you owe you owe yourself to support this game and show Nintendo and Game Freak, especially that they need to go in this direction. That they need to keep up with this kind of semi-open world, open region, I guess you'd call it, open region gameplay where you have like different regions you can go into that are big and open world, open, um, exploratory, exploratory, collecting by nature. This is exactly what people have been wanting for Pokemon when they say po like Sky like Pokemon but in Skyrim. This is actually this is probably the closest thing we'll get to a Pokemon but with Skyrim in terms of like the basic gameplay. I cannot imagine a big huge open world like Breath of the Style or GTA or Skyrim style world. I just, I just feel like, with, especially with literally literally thousands of Pokemon to collect in, in a game, like, this game I think only has like 400. I think like 400 something Pokemon in it. Um, I cannot imagine putting the other, the other 500 in. Like, it's, it's like, I, I cannot imagine putting a thousand into a big open world and then expecting it to not be glitchy as all hell. I mean, if you've seen any open world game whatsoever, they cannot seem to put their shit together correctly, unless it's Nintendo and Breath of the Wild. I guess Horizon Zero Dawn did a good job. But there always seems to be major issues when you try to do open world games, and especially when you try to have like a huge variety of stuff, there seems to be major issues with like enemy variety in, in a lot of these open world games. It would be nice to see them try that with Pokemon, though, I'm, and see how they could do that. All 1,000, all, like, 900 types of Pokemon. 1,000, I guess, if you count the variants. That would be impressive. <laughs> it'd be infeasible, but it'd be impressive if they could make it work. But, yeah, with all that said, I think I'm going to end it off here. So, yeah, buy the game. Buy it twice if you have to, you know, give the second copy to a friend who's on the fence. Um, but, you know, buy it. Encourage your friends to buy it. Support this idea, because I want to see more of this in the future. But, that's, yeah, that's all until then. For now, I'll be seeing you guys later.